Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the uh, presentation. Uh, I'm going to quiet the room down a little bit here so Alistair uh, has your full attention. Alistair? Awesome. Thank you. Thanks very much for the introduction. Um, so yeah, Alistair uh, yeah, covers a bunch of stuff competition-wise. So with the we're going to do today, we'll talk a little bit about uh, kind of some basics of strength training and then maybe some more specifics as it relates to powerlifting and like programming stuff that way. Um, I don't need to be like super formal, so as I'm going through, if there's anything you guys want me to maybe elaborate on or like stuff like that, feel free to just like throw up a hand or like ask me a question. People will like take a little bit of time off tangent and kind of cover it so you guys get the what you want out of this and, and get the most that you can. So. Anyways, kind of starting off, I always like to put this picture up first. So that's my myself and my parents. You guys can probably figure out who's my mom and my dad. Um, but I like to put that up because I found that kind of the, the better I get at the sport, the better and better my genetics get according to everybody else. <laughs> so my dad is uh, super tall, he's 6'5", and um, back when he's my age, he was about 150 pounds. So not really like a genetic specimen when it comes to uh, strength training. And my mom is about five foot five. She looks a little broader there. She's got like the padded shoulder vest, but that's, that's a lie. Um, so her dad, my grandfather, was a featherweight boxer at like 132. Um, she has five brothers. None of them uh, were particularly strong. And they all have, they have a bunch of, of kids. So I have 19 cousins on my mom's side. Um, and again, it's kind of similarly, none of them have really excelled in athletics. So I don't want to like downplay genetics because they, they definitely do play a role, um, uh, especially like competitively, but um, I do think a lot of where I've gotten to has come from uh, being smart about my training and like working hard and being consistent. And so hopefully I can like pass some of that on uh, to you guys. Anyways, this is probably the most important thing I'm gonna talk about. Uh, it's just a couple of basics for strength training. So. Uh, when I got into lifting, like I started I don't know, like, kind of doing some bodybuilding stuff in high school. And when I got into university, um, I actually was a cheerleader. And uh, I had to get stronger to throw girls higher because I was too weak. So I started looking into like how professional like strength athletes would train. And that's what kind of got me into uh, powerlifting. And so when I got into that, most of what I would do is I would like comb around the internet and find like a program. And that looked kind of good, and I would do that for a while, and then I would pick another program and do that for a while. And like some of it worked really well, some of it didn't, but I didn't really understand like why something worked or why something else didn't. So sometimes I made great progress, but it was really hard to be consistent with that because I didn't really know what was, again, what was working and what wasn't. So I'd say these are probably the two most important principles when it comes to, to strength training. And so when you guys are like looking at what kind of training you're doing, whether it's something you're writing yourself or whether it's like somebody else's program, this is a pretty good lens to like filter that through. So two principles, number one, said principle, number two, progressive overload. So said principle stands for specific adaptation to impose demands. That's just like a fancy way of saying your body adapts to the stresses you put on it. So if you like swim a lot, you're gonna be pretty good at swimming. If you run a lot, you're gonna get better at running. And if you lift weights a lot, you get better at lifting weights. So it's like, you know, not, I don't think that's like a really controversial thing if I say it that way. Um, but what that means in terms of training is that, you know, if your goal is to get stronger, and specifically if you're a competitive lifter, like what we're trying to be is as strong as possible at one rep in the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. So the training should be geared towards that. And if it's not, then it's a pretty good indication that, you know, you should probably change something, or maybe it's not the most optimal way of doing it. So I always like when I'm putting together like a, a program for myself or for anybody else, First thing to ask is like, what's the goal of this? What am I trying to get out of it? And then you look at the training and is it like specific? Is it leading me towards that goal? 